this video is dedicated to all you guys out there with a lovely lady in your life, a special man who doesn't want to ride a motorcycle. Now the number one reason that most people don't want to ride motorcycles is because they're afraid. Either one, they're afraid of dying, or two, they're afraid to fail. AKA, they feel like they can't do it, they don't know how to ride, they're not going to be able to do it right. For a lot of people, the idea of shifting and only having two wheels is a really scary thought. How you can convince somebody to ride a motorcycle is to take that fear away. Give them an environment where they can learn and not be afraid to fail. It's okay to make mistakes when you're learning. And that's why I think it's very important when you're trying to get someone to, trying to teach, let's call it your boo. You try to teach your boo how to ride a motorcycle and they are terrified. They don't want to learn whatever it is. They feel like they can't do it. So put them on a bike that is more suited to their size. Get them a little bike, get a little 250, something where both of their feet can touch and they are going to be so afraid to like wheelie really out of nowhere. There's not enough power and there's not enough weight. One of the biggest factors for me in comfort when it comes to how comfortable are you going to be on this bike you've never been in is how, how much it weighs. When a bike is really light, it gives me a lot of freaking confidence. Especially like on a 250, those things are so much fun to just rip around because they're super light. It's awesome. So put your boo on a smaller bike that's not going to get away from them and that both of their feet can touch. The next thing and the biggest thing is going to be take your boo on a little shopping spree, get them a helmet that fits them right, get them gear that fits them right. They need protection. When you got the right boots and pants, jacket, gloves, and a helmet on, you are going to feel 10 times more confident than if you were to be on a big bike that you had not the skill level to control with just a helmet and some gloves on. Get your boo a jacket. Save their skin. If you like their skin, I guarantee you they like their skin. So do them a favor. So if you get them on the right size bike with the gear and they still are just like, I can't do this. I can't. I'm afraid. I don't want to die. <laughs> Dying is a totally legitimate fear because, yeah, a lot of people do die on motorcycles. A lot of people die every day in car crashes and shit like that and fucking you know, falling trees and, I don't know, getting kicked by horses. I don't know. I live in Vacaville, okay? There's, there's not a whole lot of exciting things going on. But if you're afraid and you have, you, you're assuming that the worst is going to happen, you already set yourself up with that negative attitude. So try and change their attitude. Try and tell them, listen, you know, I, just try and be positive. Have a better outlook on it. Don't always assume the worst. So have a good little powwow and figure out what it is that you, you need to make them feel more confident. If they haven't been on the back of your bike and absolutely will not go on the back of your bike, then sometimes putting them on their own bike is going to make them understand, oh wow, you know what, this is awesome, this isn't as bad as I thought it was, I I'll try it, I'll try getting on your bike, because I know there are a lot of the girlfriends, boyfriends, I don't know, I don't know boyfriends personally, but I know a lot of people who have girlfriends who won't even sit on the back of the bike, honestly. They don't, they want nothing to do with motorcycles. And you know, everybody has their own reasons. If you don't really want to ride, you can't force somebody to ride. But if you try and talk to them and get them to have the right mindset and the right attitude, put them on a bike that is suited to their size with the right gear and start real slow. Sometimes it can change people's minds. Show them videos, movies, anything that has to do with motorcycles because there's a, there's a real energy that surrounds motorcycles. When you love motorcycles, it when you're getting into it especially, it sucks you in. You're like, oh shit, like everybody loves to ride. All these people, they they love, it's, it's a way of life, honestly. I ride every day, I ride all the time. This is where, this is my main, this is my main bitch right here. It's the bike life. Sometimes women are not about that bike life. I don't know about guys, like I said, I don't know anyone too personally who's like, I don't want to ride. It's 
girls who just want nothing to do with that bike life. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you have a wife, girlfriend, whoever is just like, no, I don't want to, just refuses. So another thing you can do is uh, give them a gift. Give them the safety course in your area. Signing up for the safety course is a really, really good way to get their confidence up. Get them learning the rules of the road so that when they get on that bike, they understand a little bit more about how different a motorcycle is when you're on the road because it's not the same as driving. Your rules are a little bit different. And I think that that makes you a better driver. After learning and getting my license and riding a motorcycle, it absolutely made me a better driver because I'm way more aware of what's going on on the road. You pay attention. You assume that people are not going to see you. You become aggressive and defensive at the same time. You know where to put yourself on the road and how to avoid someone who may put themselves in front of you. So that's another factor. Being a motorcyclist, I think, makes you a much better driver. That's a, a, a another great way, you know. If they're already a bad driver, though, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, you know. <laughs> Women, fit in the kitchen, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I am terrible. Wait, am I a girl? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, some girls are just not about that bike life, and you know, if you're not married yet, that you can still get away. You can still break up with them <laughs> and escape <laughs> quickly. They're gonna get half your shit, okay? <laughs> so if you're with somebody who makes you choose between your motorcycle and them, pick your bike because your bike's always gonna be there for you that you're trying to convince to ride. Whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe it's your friend, maybe even it's your family, maybe it's your brother or sister or your mom or dad that you really want to ride with you. Just give it time, let them kind of come around. You know, the more you do with your bike, like the more I do with my bike, the more other people become interested in it and they're just like, oh, that's really cool, you do that? Like, oh, maybe I can learn to ride, you know? Some people think it's impossible. When, before I got my bike, I never thought I would have a motorcycle, ever. I thought it was just one of those things I'm never going to have. It's, it, it didn't even occur to me. It didn't cross my mind. So sometimes that too. Some people just think like, oh, you know, I'm not going to have a bike. I can't do this. And they don't know just how, how, how powerful the thought that, you know, if you want something and you go after it, you can get it. So remember, just take it slow and do your best, and you might be able to get this, this special person in your life to come around and actually get on the bike. It might seem really hard at first, and to some people it might seem impossible, but I think anything's possible if you try, if you just give it a chance, and if you just have a good attitude and keep your mind open about things. It's really not that scary. It's ultimately one of the most freeing feelings ever. It's one of the best choices I've made in my life. I'm so sorry about all this wood noise. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Go ahead and subscribe and like. If you like the video, I hope this helps you out. If you're looking for help, maybe you'll be able to get that, that special somebody on a bike. And if not, wait about that life. Enjoy your ride. <laughs>